Hello, welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome, if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. I'm very happy you're here today and I'm very happy to be here with you today. My name is Christine, Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus Signs. Welcome to another Aries Tarot Reading. Aries Love Tarot Reading. Aries, it's wanting to go right here in the overall energy. Aries love reading. Also, very often, pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet, Aries love messages reading channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. So before we look at this energy coming in, the Four of Cups felt kind of pushy. <laughs> I felt push, it felt pushy. I don't know. <laughs> just the way it came in, the way I had to just really quickly get it here. It, it was just like, I want to be here in the overall energy today. Moon and Cancer energy. They're wanting to reach out. They're really wanting to reach out. And I already saw what's here in this cut deck and the energy coming in. So I'm not surprised by this at all. It's the Four of Cups. Coming out of nowhere here too. You're not really looking at them coming in here to communicate. You want to communicate, I feel. But you're hurt. You know, there's three cups here right in the front. Of course, that's Mercury and Cancer energy. That's the three of cups. That's the communication. For some of you, it could be you're even going to see your person and have a talk, but it's around communication. It's strong around reading and writing. So perhaps SMS, social media, email, that sort of thing. Divine timing, communication. Yeah, you're reading for it, but you're also kind of feeling a little bit indifferent right now. Hurt. And look what was coming in here. It's temperance. Archangel Michael, literally lighting the way to the truth, working things out, restoring balance and harmony. It's Sagittarius energy, temperance. Things changing, that 14 coming to a five. That's also around the fifth chakra, communicating. Really just trying to get everybody on the same page here. It's a very fast energy, Archangel Michael, the angel for strength and protection, wanting to get here, light the way to this truth. Look at how calm the emotional energy is. It's like a tempering everything, you know? Like they're coming in here kind of pushy with me. Look here also next to this water. Of course, it's around your love. It's an emotional energy. They're coming in here and really wanting to work. They have something to say to you. Look at this, also with the King of Swords. Gemini energy, Mercury energy, again, around some reading and writing energy, SMS, social media, email. But it's the King of Swords who's been thinking about what they want to say for a long time. Lots of honesty coming in here and not in a combative way. Thinking about what they want to say. Gemini, of course, all about being in their head, communicating information, clarity, coming here with that very intentional. They've been thinking about a way to come in here and it's almost like, okay, I'm ready now. Get out of my way. It's what I feel like that came through with me. This can also just be, you know, if, if you're going to see each other, that's what this is for a lot of you because that three of cups here, that is the communication and it's reading an energy around communicating, no con ending no contact. No communication and or in separation. Yeah, you know, sometimes you're in different locations. It can be for some of you also. Communicating doesn't always mean you're ending the separation, if you know what I mean. But in any case, they're really wanting to end the no communication here. They've been thinking for a long time what they want to say. So it can be, again, in person. But this is also, you know, whether it's in message messages or not, it is communication. It can be voicemail voice messages, I want to say. This is around Jupiter energy, and that's the planet of prosperity and expansion, which of course is connected to the Sagittarius energy here, but also around some Pisces energy. So a hopeful energy, an optimistic energy, things moving under the influence of Archangel Michael, I want to say, connecting again to this Jupiter energy, the biggest planet. Things moving, expansion, prosperity, just wanting to get you both on the path to the truth for the highest good of everybody in this connection, Aries. All the decks that are coming in are linked below. Also, all the playlists you will find, of course, your zodiac readings, Aries, all 12 zodiac signs. You will also find all signs love tarot readings. Those are love readings for the collective.
If you're on a Twin Flame journey, there are very long and in-depth Twin Flame readings below. Those are coming weekly, sometimes bi-weekly, like this week. There was just one released if you're watching this in real time. All readings are timeless. They're meant for you when you find them. I'm channeling for you, Aries, in January 2024. So if you're here right in real time, Happy New Year. If you're here in 2024, many months later, still Happy 2024. You could be here many months, even years later, though, because you're here when you're meant to be here. This is a faded connection, Aries. It means there is a message or messages here for you. The Knight of Wands and the Fool. Look at this. Clean slate energy. Oh, yeah. Look what they're bringing. They're bringing an offer here. Owls, interesting. Our owls are Scorpios. You know a lot about inner transformations. They kind of do a lot of work behind the scenes. They check themselves when they get too emotional. But there are some things they really care about. It's their other owl, their person. They're loyal even when they're behaving badly. I know. Let's see what's going on here today. The fact that that even <laughs> what message even wanted to come in. But they're also really loyal to. Well, that they're there's three things they worry about. It's I want to say to you, it's predatory predators, so other things getting in the way, and food. So they're coming here with an offer of food, which is a pretty big deal <laughs> for an owl here, Knight of Wands energy, Leo energy. You know, wearing their armor because they are a knight, but flying in here, their wings wide open, bringing this gift along. It's a fast energy, the wands. You know, it's passionate energy. It's around matters of the heart. It's the energy of love. And they're coming here with the fool. Aquarius and Uranus energy wanting to change everything. This is clean slate energy. This is hoping to come here, move past everything that's happened energy. You know, taking a chance. Something starting over again is what I feel. They're being really pushy. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Okay, I want to show you this. So it flipped the... Fool off showed the Queen of Wands. I'm a little confused who's where, who's in reverse, and I, I almost feel like this was in reverse. But anyway, it just wanted to show <laughs> the Queen of Wands, and it wants the Fool here in your reading. It's like landing here. I just want to tell you when this energy is coming through, Aries, it's a trying to do something. It sometimes can be an indecisive energy. This is not indecisive today. This is an energy of in the process. So they're reaching out if they haven't already. They're being kind of pushy about it too. <laughs> they're being really pushy. They're pretty confident. Feisty, feisty here in the Queen of Wands, look. Knowing what they want, working things out around these sunflowers, which we know there's a sun here that's heading toward that sun energy, that Leo energy, an outcome, a happy outcome, a successful. They really want to reach you. And it can be kind of an impulsive energy because it's also putting the Knight of Wands. I feel like the Knight of Wands was here. I'm so confused. <laughs> There's a lot coming in. I feel, I don't want to say aggressive. It just feels kind of pushy, kind of pushy energy that's going on here. Five of Pentacles is showing itself in reverse. Mercury and Taurus energy. Yeah, this is ending the no communication here. It's coming in here with bringing in some healing energy, connecting, because the Five of Pentacles is an energy of loss, and it's around Mercury. It's thinking about it, feeling missing, missing you, not communicating. It's coming, it's wanting to show itself in reverse. The Chariot and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they haven't let you go. I think this might be in reverse, though, because... There's a triggering. Aries is, have you put something out there? Or have you gotten quiet? Or have you gotten maybe the opposite of quiet? Because there's a little, there's like this energy of, I gotta be fast here, not wanting to lose you. They haven't let you go. They might even be in the middle of some project, something that they're supposed to be doing, whether it's something big in life or something daily that they're just daily maybe kind of setting aside. Look at this chariot energy, cancer energy. The moon energy, the moon energy coming here and revealing a lot. They have a lot to say. It's communicating and they're it, I, <laughs> just, it's strong. It's around some timing too, again. So there might, they're literally, this is kind of like, again, I don't know if somebody's just right in the middle of something and they're picking up and just sending off a message, picking up the phone. 
But it's movement, it's the chariot, it's an action, it's changing things with this. This is, my gosh, I can't with your reading today. I don't know whether to laugh or cry because I just, I feel kind of emotional and I feel, I feel like things are just moving really fast. Six of Cups just wanted to come in. Where was it? It's here. This is where it is now. Sun and Scorpio energy. Yeah, they're nostalgic. Yeah, this is reunion energy. And yeah, this does not feel like an energy of dreamy. This is an energy of coming in, Aries. And this Four of Pentacles, it's kind of spinning for me today because Sun and Capricorn energy. They don't want to let you go. They're working on something, I feel, in their life in general around a pentacle. And it can be, you know, contracts around money, work, relationships, other people. But there's also something literally when they reach out that they're just kind of blowing off or setting aside to, to get to you. Sun and Scorpio energy, that Scorpio energy, you know, a lot of emotional energy here. There's something too they just really want to say to you, I'm here and get off their chest. You know, that Scorpio energy just in, in the owl, owls in general, but the emotional energy that's around that. Yeah. Lots of nostalgic energy here. Soul connection. For some of you, it might be around your twin flame and communication. This is These zodiac readings and the love tarot readings are the all signs readings are not twin flame reading specific, but if that energy comes through and there are messages for you here and there, most definitely, then you're meant to hear them, obviously, if you're here. Definitely check out the twin flame readings if you want a more in-depth energy. Anyway, soulmate energy too. For some of you, you have known your person for a really long time and it could even be that somebody's coming back into a hometown or somehow reconnecting at an event here. That's not for everybody, but it is really pretty strong. So for those of you that have known each other for many years, since childhood, some of you just years, and some of you it just feels that way. But they're triggered. I don't know if you got quiet, if you got louder, <laughs> if there's something they've heard, seen, maybe something even you've said, but they're really wanting to reach out to you. And they're, they're being pushy and they're being fast about it. Okay. Remember, this is a general tarot reading, Aries, so take what resonates and let the rest go. If you ever feel something's vice versa, then that's how it is, the energy coming in. If you think, okay, you know what? This is in my reading. Maybe it's not. If you're still here, I think this might be your reading, though, I have to say. I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. Thank you. Let's see what else. What else is going on here? Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what else Aries needs to see and hear today. Hierophant energy, Ten of Swords in reverse. Knight of Pentacles here, interesting, in reverse. So they were being stubborn, not... They're coming here wanting to work this out. They're sorry, look. They were connected and that is yours too. This is where your, your person's energy is the strongest series. It's the Ten of Swords in reverse, Sun and Gemini. You know, it's the lack of communication, but also this is, the you can't get any more swords and it was hurtful. They really hurt you. And it connected and came here. The apology came here with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So they've been stubborn and they've also... Yeah, I feel like not only have they been taking probably too much time is what I'm hearing, but just not, not putting, not, you weren't, you couldn't really count on them, I feel like, some trust issues, not really reliable, you know, not doing, putting in the time, so I don't know if they were choosing something else, not giving you time, just not answering, whatever, they are apologizing, so that's coming through. Here in the Four of Cups, with this apology, with this communication, whatever else they have to say is the Hierophant right below it. Divine Masculine Energy, Taurus Energy. This is a card of contracts, commitments, partnerships. Can't, you know, can't even be around legal contracts, marriage, paperwork. It's slow moving. So, yeah, for some of you, well, for everybody here, this is in connection to you. So this is what's going on in their mind. But I want to tell you in this energy too, you know, there's a lot of expectations and kind of like other things that 
um, might be might have been playing a part that they might have even have chosen over you or were just not being really clear or just not putting the right boundaries, I want to say, against either other people that were interfering, friends or family, whatever, or just even work, money, really big differences. Timing too here of being ready, not being ready, a little bit of wishy-washy energy, maybe kind of night of Cups energy in reverse to some broken promises, but it's, it's around this higher font energy. So this is also both an energy of working things out and it's connecting to something else I feel. Again, whether it's other people, locations, work, money, something here, because they're, they're getting some clarity. Queen of Pentacles, Two of Wands, King of Pentacles, the Six of Cups is back. The King of Swords is back. The Emperor is here, right with the Hierophant. Well, that's a lot of divine masculine energy. <laughs> that's why I was feeling, that's why I was feeling so, I don't know, kind of pushy. Harry's energy, Mars energy, the planet of action, passion, drive, completion. Yeah, just also here in this Two of Wands, this is so incredibly clear, the Two of Wands energy. More Aries energy, more Mars energy. It's what you've been waiting for. They're also making this choice to come here and communicate, and it's a strong choice. It's a pushy <laughs> energy. The King of Swords being back here too. So first of all, they, they are, the, the Six of Cups is back here, Aries, so they really are just thinking a lot about this remembering when things were easier, but also have, there's some guilt and some regret. So something in, in here also within the five of cups coming right before the six, which are here also look, there are the four again. You know, they're all filled up here. And, well, yes, how they, because the, how they handled something, what they chose or what they didn't figure out or work out, it's around this higher font energy, I feel. So that apology is here, but this is that pushy energy that I've been feeling. The Emperor, the Two of Wands, and the King of Swords of just like kind of I, like it's Knight of Swords energy too. Like they're just they're gonna come in here, whatever they have to say. Look, the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles is here too. Look how annoyed she's looking. <laughs> I mean, this is a long-term energy here with the Queen and the King of Pentacles. You know, you're both here. It's also around their energy. The Queen of Pentacles is sort of like, that's the other thing. She's like a stand-in for the Empress. Here's the Emperor. She's like the protege for me. And coming in here, being honest, wanting to restart this connection around, she's very resourceful, lots of healing energy and resourceful and can, can make things work that we're not working. The Pentacle. Contracts, unspoken, spoken, spiritual, some for some official, let's say, legal contracts, whatever, partnerships, commitments. So whatever's going on, whatever's been going on, whatever is that energy, that external energy, whether it's location, work, other people, but also the two of you. I mean, it's incredibly, incredibly clear and in working things out because it's kind of like an energy of let's of wanting to work it out. Look at this. Here with the chariot, full. Chariot, Hierophant, look at this major arcana energy here of coming here with a clean, asking for another chance, wanting to work it out and start over here. Con the contract energy, you know, the commitment energy, excuse me, I just, you could say contract too. I mean, really, it's partnership, commitment, whatever that is. But this is that pushy energy here in <laughs> this emperor who gets what the emperor wants. They like to get their own way. This divine masculine energy here, holding onto their, well, got their onk actually in their nose. It's piercing, interesting. Yin yin energy, divine feminine and divine masculine energy. Pretty darn clear and balanced here about what they want. They've been thinking for a long time what they want to say. You've been waiting to hear it. This completion energy coming through here also with Aries and Mars energy. What is that completion energy? What they have to say for sure. And their goal is to connect, to communicate with you. I'll tell you that. You're both here because that's also world card energy coming in here in that completion. 
can be physical travel. And that's been really clear for a lot of you. There's actual travel here, the chariot, the three of cups here in the front of the four, the two of wands. So actually getting on a plane, <laughs> train, automobile, flying <laughs> on a chariot, you know what I mean? But it's not going to be that for everybody because it's also really clearly about the communication. So the traveling of, of course, the message or the, the voice speaking up, communicating, waiting for this decision, waiting to come together for this completion energy. Lots of soulmate energy here. Obstacles out of the way, and that's the thing. So when these are getting out of the way for your person, that's why maybe that I feel like it's like get out of the way. I'm just going to, I can leave this for a minute. I, I just need, I need to come in here. It's just so incredibly clear. And again, you know, we all have divine feminine, divine masculine energy. So this is not about gender. You're both here though, for this long-term energy here, the king and the queen of pentacles, the commitment, the relationships, the king here with this pentacle coming here, knowing what they want. Look at this, wanting to go back into something with you. It's really clear. And the queen of pentacles, a little bit annoyed with the weight. Look at that. But here, nonetheless, also there's like a, this energy of, of course, of who's bringing what to the connection, you know, both energies, the king and the queen of pentacles here around matters of the heart and the new beginnings. This is what they're coming in here with. And again, the these restart energy and the apologetic energy around not this knight of pentacles. I don't know, being stubborn around making some big decisions or around the commitment energy. It's totally reversed here, coming here with the, the king of pentacles. Okay, this one <laughs> just went flying. It's the seven of swords in reverse. Interesting, and it brought in the two of swords, but it also brought in judgment, wake up energy. Yeah, so it's kind of voiding this out. Two of swords in reverse, moon and Libra energy. That moon is in reverse. That's the clarity that they have, and that is the truth coming. But yeah, have they been indecisive? Yes. And is there a compromise that they weren't making? Yes. And are they ready to make it? Yes. What is that? Strong wake up energy here. This is them coming back in. It's reconciliation here today. It's asking for forgiveness, literally strong validation as Archangel Gabriel wants to land here on the Ten of Swords in reverse. Their energy is incredibly strong here, but of course it's everywhere. It's airing everything out. They're coming here. What's the truth of what? You know, what is the truth around this Hierophant energy? What they want, what they've been holding back, how they feel, kind of everything. It's a wake up energy. What can I say? Archangel Gabriel, the angel for messages, the herald of visions. Get some clarity, Aries person. Make a decision. Wake up. What do you want? Yeah, again, there's like a triggering here. Something they saw or heard or maybe just something they finished. They completed something or left it undone in order to come. Again, something big. Live. We're talking life stuff, months, years, but we're also talking kind of in real time here. Getting this, like waking up all the owls here. <laughs> I'm making peace energy with the instruments. That's my signal for that. And it's right. This is a forgiving energy asking for it. Also here with the Ten of Swords in reverse. And the Fool energy is a real clear, please forgive me. I know what I want. I want to do this. Can I have another chance? Can we get past this? Will you take a chance? Hoping that you'll take a chance. Coming here either for some of you in person or via message. It's incredibly clear. And the Seven of Swords in reverse, yeah. This is more apologetic energy coming in here and making peace energy. Look, there's the Two of Swords here. That's They were coming in here literally when they came together. You know, indecisive. They've been confused, overloaded. They weren't willing to make a compromise. It's different, I feel. They're ready. The Seven of Swords, Aquarius and Uranus energy changed everything here. It was not communicating, was breaking hearts. There's some dishonest energy around here. For some of you, maybe even some betrayal. It's coming back in here. And around that too, again, what is that, what is that untangling that was we saw in that Four of Pentacles that was just kind of all over the place, you know? Of something that they're needing to work out that's I feel connected to the Hierophant another contract relationship, 
person, people, location, work, money, whatever that they were not willing to compromise on, that they're having this wake up energy here now that they're ready to compromise on. It's just incredibly, incredibly clear. And there is apologetic energy here and making, making peace energy. And for some of you, there may have been something that went on that, it's back, that they were, I want to say, I don't know, if caught doing or caught in a lie maybe. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know, really know what that means. I feel like you're going to know. Maybe it's coming through later, but right now that's all that's coming through. Knight of Wands came back and it's in reverse. Yeah, <laughs> this is an impulsive energy. So that's what that energy is. That's just, this is literally what I feel like. It's kind of like, get out of my way, you know? And it might even be, if this is in person, there is kind of like a pushing, of like just not pushing aggressive mean. I just mean like getting to you. That's incredibly strong. And this is just wanting to come off. So is this Page of Wands, Knight of Swords. This is also coming in. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. It's worry. Yeah, it's worry around this. The Nine of Swords coming in reverse here with the Page of Wands. This is a healing energy. It's coming out of this Gemini Mars energy of just not really sleeping very well, being stuck in their head. So this is around their energy for sure. Here with this Page of Wands as well, who we know has this idea and who's just who's literally like leaving something undone to talk. Eight of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Star, Aquarius and Uranus energy. Connecting here, look right here, with more Aquarius, Uranus, energy of the fool, the renewal, the hope, the clarity, which we know that they have. Faded connection. There has been a cooling off period here, so what's been going on? Look at this. Whatever they're needing to work out, they're, they're choosing you, I feel, here in this Two of Pentacles. What is that other pentacle? What is the karmic situation? Romantic work, location, Inability to commit, not wanting to make a compromise, whatever. This Eight of Cups in reverse, Saturn and Pisces energy is coming back in. It is a number of action. It is connected to some karma. It's also connected to infinity. So for some of you, it might be around twin flame communication again, not for everybody, because that's also a particular kind of love, Aries, like a forever kind of love. Long-term commitment, King and Queen of Pentacles energy. They're worried about it here. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Ace of Pentacles here coming in reverse. And it's also connecting to that Four of Pentacles around something, another contract. Again, money, work, partner, what is it? That they were not willing to compromise no. on. I just looked up and the camera was run out. I'm not really sure what went on. I hope I didn't miss too much because I know we were close. Eight of Cups in reverse, Two of Pentacles came in and the Ace of Wands. The star also came in. And that's... Yeah, it's the energy of renewal. And what really came in quite strong is I feel like choosing you. They're not indecisive anymore. They're not, they're willing to make whatever compromise this is around some other contract, money, work, location, karmic situation. What is it? This eight, of course, is an action number. It's coming in here. It's movement. We know that in the chariot. It's a little buried here <laughs> of coming in and moving. It's also connected to karma, of course. Infinity, for some of you, twin flame communication. So I'm kind of repeating a few things because I'm not sure if you heard it already because I'm not sure where the camera died. I try to stay on top of that, but I just get so into the reading and I just, I just forget to look. But that's also a connection to a forever kind of love, a long-term energy, the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, that infinity. And that's connected to Libra energy as well. Balancing the divine feminine and the divine masculine energies, which they're, they've done. It's like something clicked in their head with the wake-up energy with judgment or something was completed or they just had some 
wake up some realizations and that's why they're just kind of like, I need to get to Aries now. And that's also the Ace of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, this inspiration we see here in the Page of Wands connected with now with the Knight of Wands returning in reverse of just an impulsive energy coming in here. Really, really, really around matters of the heart and wanting to work this out. They're I feel like they're choosing you. You know, and that eight, of course, is the that's also that infinity. That's also the renewal. It's the balancing of the divine feminine, divine masculine energies, getting clear and honest with themselves so they can be clear and honest with you. And that's coming with the truth. We know that. Communicating for sure. It's the renewal. It's the choice. It's the choice I feel like you've been waiting for them to make. This is just really clear. And the Saturn energy in the Eight of Cups, you know, it's in reverse. Saturn is around some karma. Rules, structure, tradition, obstacles, other people, th contracts, what? Again, you know, Capricorn and Saturn energy here in the Two of Pentacles. Some choices to be made, weighing out a lot of various options. And I feel like we can see here what they've chosen, which I... Look, the Emperor, the Two of Wands, the Knight of Swords, you coming here. If all else, just getting every, all the noise out of the way and communicating. The hope for the renewal, the clarity, star energy judgment, it's here. I want to bring in some channeled love messages. We're not doing Oracle today. And we're going to do some channeled song messages as well. Messages from their higher self. I fell in love with you. Six of Cups. It's so hard not being in contact. That's the Ace of Pentacles also in worrying, and that's also the Six of, Cup, of Cups. Our souls are forever connected. More Six of Cups energy. Realizations that they're having as well. That's way too many, but that's there. And I am so sorry I wanted to reveal, and this is in my hand. Every time my phone vibrates, I hope to God it's you. I am so sorry so this came back, or is that another one? I play songs that remind me of you on repeat. I messed up so bad. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Swords in reverse. Also, Eight of Cups in reverse, because they've learned some lessons here. That's why they're pushing. I don't know. <laughs> you know? It's not an aggressive, mean thing. It's just kind of like, I can you move out of my way, please? I love you every day. I love you every day. The day will turn to night, but my love for you will remain constant. I wish I could see you in person. For some of you, that might be possible. Thinking of you brings me peace. When you feel my energy, it's because I am thinking of you. I am ashamed of the way I handled things. Seven of Swords in reverse. What was that? Two of Swords in reverse. Eight of Cups in reverse. What you see online is a lie. I am not okay. I want to tell you the truth. Channeled song messages. Songs could be coming in that you resonate with, that are yours, or belong, you know, you feel like it's that's our song. It could also be that nothing comes in <laughs> that you know or you care about, or you feel like I don't, that's not my message, or you don't know the song, or maybe you don't like it. That's okay. Keep an open heart and mind because a lot of times there's always a sentiment in a song, but a lot of times, really very much with the reading, too, that things are gonna be coming in that I I can't even bring forward to you. You're gonna know. Love messages through channeled song, channeled song messages, messages from your person. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, haunted by the ghost of you. Oh, take me back to the night we met, the night we met Lord Huron. That is the Six of Cups energy. Come just as you are to me. Don't need apologies. Know that you are worthy unconditionally, Katy Perry. Sorry, everything's getting messy here. <laughs> oh, all the times I've tasted love. 
Never knew quite what I had, little darling. If you, Little darling, if you hear me now, never needed you so bad. Spinning round inside my head, sail away, David Gray. This is a lot of that energy to today that I'm feeling. Because there is, like, a real, this is the wake-up energy, the realization here. So is this just around talking again? For some of you, is it putting a pin back in to future possibilities? For some of you, are you seeing each other? Because the hope, the clarity, the renewal is here, whatever that's meaning. It's back on the table. So find your shelter in my arms. Find your shelter in my arms. Shelter Luca Fogali. That's a song for you to hear today. They all are, but it's important, I feel. And that's what I'm being told. And I have a boss today. <laughs> okay, that's too many, but those are yours. I'm not the kind to try to tell you lies, but the truth is you've been hiding from it to hold my heart, Sarah Bareilles. Surviving, 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 and nothing else surviving. More Luca Fogali. Yeah, that's, these are some songs for you. I mean, they're all your songs, you know, and some there's something here for you, but there's something particular in those, I feel. David Gray, too. Look, it's another one. This is the Ten of Swords in reverse, the Fool's energy. It's a lot of this. It's Please forgive me. Judgment, big time. Please forgive me if I act a little strange. <laughs> I forgive you, Aries person, for I know not what I do. Feels like lightning running through my veins every time I look at you. Please forgive me, David Gray. It's a strong energy here today. I want to end your reading on some channeled love messages. More love messages, I should say. Within the hearts today. We met for a reason. It's Wheel of Fortune energy. I was stupid. Seven of Swords in reverse. Connected with I messed up so bad it was me, not you. I'm sorry. Lots of that energy here. I will always love you. And that's right here with I love you every day. My heart is yours. Your last channeled love message coming through today is I stare at photos. <laughs> so it's a page of swords energy. Maybe that's some of the triggering. If this is maybe not even just on their phone or computer, but something that they're seeing. Because there is there is a triggering here. They want to talk. They really want to talk. It's I got to close your reading so you can talk. <laughs> but I'm being silly. Really, it's one of those readings today. It's what it is. Aries, it's the end of your reading. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed your reading as much as I enjoyed channeling and reading for you. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video. Subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. I'm sending you so much love and so much light hoping for the best outcome for you. I look forward to seeing you at another love reading. Until then, bye Aries.